Hi everybody and welcome back to possibly another episode of uh, Train Sim World 2 News. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue with this series or not, but I'll, um, can, I'll yeah, touch back on that a bit later on. Um, I just wanted to make this short video sort of as a um, response to some things that have been happening. Um, so today we're going to look at some speculation, uh, new route or new loco DLC, but I'll talk more about that in a second, and um, sort of a funny backwards situation that's not directly related to um, Train Sim World, but I thought it was funny, so I throwed it in anyway. So we'll start with that. Um, if you follow the um, Dovetail Live general news feed, you'll probably have seen that uh, Dovetail Games are releasing a version of the Long Island Railroad for TS Classic. Now, this route is exactly the same so as the Train Sim World version. So it goes from Penn Station and Atlantic Terminal and Long Island City to Hicksville, plus the Hempstead Branch and the um, Belmont Park Branch. But it also adds one station of the Oyster Bay Branch and another station, single station on the Babylon Branch, not like the whole branch, just one station of them. So it's the exact same route from TSW, except with two extra stations. Might I also mention that it only comes with the M7 and not the M3. And might I also add that it costs the exact same as the Trains in World route. So literally, you're paying $42 for the same route that you could have spent the same amount of money for much better detail and everything else, and with the possibility of upgrading for another Loco DLC. But no! Why do that when you get two extra stations and really, really clunky detail? It's, yeah, the TSC is just a bit clunky, and to be honest, I'm not sure if they should, if Dovetail should continue making things for that game if they're, you know, if they're exactly the same as what they're making for Train Sim World, then what's the point? You know what I mean? I, I see the utility of Train Sim Classic if you're making really long routes or, I don't know, something that would just not be possible in the current state of Train Sim World. Um, but. Oh, I don't think it's a good idea to continue with that franchise if the routes are just going to be the same. You know, what next? You're going to Harlem Line, Grand Central to, um, you know, Grand Central to North White Plains, but you get the M8, the, uh, M8 as well along the exact same line, you know. Um, anyway, that's that's just my pure feelings about that. It's, yeah, it's a bit funny. Um, make your own decisions about that if you want. But um, yeah, there's some free advertising, even though probably not good advertising for Dovetail. Uh, the second order of business is a prospective new route. Now, um, there's been a lot of speculation on the forums, especially about Rivet Games as the uh, third party devs new route. Um, it's been um, speculated on quite heavily. People have been, you know, suggesting that maybe Rivet have been taking a step back and working on um, um, improvements to their previous routes. Call them improvements, shall we, and not complete rewrites. Um, and other people have been saying, oh, maybe they've gone, you know, international for, you know, outside of Germany or Switzerland or the UK or the US for the first time. You know, when they created that world map, it seemed like maybe they were hinting on, um, on going international at some point. But, um, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but uh, quite predictably, you know, people were saying maybe this would be the case. They've released a screenshot, a teaser screenshot, without saying what the route was, but it's pretty obvious what it is from this screenshot. Um, and I'll tell you now, because you've already been seeing the screenshot for a while, it's the, um, it's an updated version of the Isle of Wight. Now, from this screenshot, we can't tell what or to what extent the upgrade is. We know that they've had like re reworked textures because um, that's a retextured platform there, which probably means that we'll get, well, it almost definitely means that we'll get a class 484, you know, the converted um, D stock trains, that little two car um, D stock trains from the London Underground, single leaf doors, etc. But it's unclear to what extent everything else is. It's probably likely that all of the new alignments would have been featured, 
But then that also begs the question of how much this whole thing is going to cost. Um, because it's very likely that... Um, it's, it's quite likely that this will be priced at a loco DLC. Because if you can remember, the original Isle of Wight was released at um, not full route price because it's a short route. It was released at about $30 Australian when a normal route would be about $40 Australian and a normal loco would be about 30 I think, I think if I remember correctly, it was $34 Australian. Um, so it's probably likely that this route, this new route extension, will be under $34 Australian dollars. Uh, possibly a free expansion, but that's unlikely. But, you know, they might do that in order to try and boost their reputation slightly. As sort of an apology maybe but it's more than likely that it'll come all of the route alignment adjustments and everything will come bundled into the uh, loco dlc uh, for the loco dlc price it's also unclear to what extent this will affect the original route because it could be a complete replacement and then the three eight uh, the four eight three would become very out of place or it could function as two completely separate routes um it's quite hard to tell um and for many people, it's not what they wanted to hear from Rivet. You know, a lot of people were expecting something bigger and better rather than a uh, another expansion for this route. Uh, it's almost also confirmed to be this route. Well, it, it is confirmed because Rivet have um, replied. Someone commented on a Facebook post or something. Uh, I'll show it on screen now. Someone replied to a Facebook post of Rivet's um, asking for a... For Eight, four, and Rivet responded with we want one two or something along those lines you can see it on screen now anyway so um, big hint there uh, and you know it's almost been confirmed by this as well um, so that's the uh, Isle of Wight and now for some general speculation um, just to get your uh, mind flowing for the possible future of the Trains in World franchise uh, we've still had no update from um just trains on what they're going to continue with because uh, they have announced that they're going to start doing work for Train Sim World 2. I reckon it's likely that they're either going to drop a Metropolitan line or they're going to drop a um, a Midland Main line, but how much of each of them I'm not sure. So um, those are the two things I reckon they're going to create, um, but other than that. I could not provide any other details. Uh, this is purely speculation. There's also speculation on what um, Just Trains, uh, not Just Trains, uh, Skyhook games are up to, although probably uh, not much good. Uh, hopefully they're working on um, revamping their previous uh, DLCs, um, reworking them, tweaking them, fixing them, completely overhauling them in some cases. <coughs> 107. Um, but yeah, uh, so that's basically all the speculation. The only other speculation would be uh, how Mike is going over at Trades in Germany. Because uh, there's the 420, ha ha funny I know, there's the uh, 420 EMU for Halbstrucker München Augsburg um, to run alongside the 423. That's a really nice heritage unit. A, um, bit of a relic from the uh, days of German separation, but um, yeah, so that's coming along at you know, what point that releases, we don't know. It's also um, unclear when Mike will release the um, the Ludmilla diesel locomotive, I think that's the 232. So that's all of the speculation, that's the bulk of the video. Um, and uh, yeah, in terms of other things, if you want to see more of these, I mean, these are more sort of my interpretation of what's going on rather than in previous version, uh, previous episodes of this series. I'll just read to you the Dovetail Live article, but, you know, I've given this sort of my own personal take on events. Um, so, yeah, if you want to see this continue, let me know. Uh, like the video. Uh, also, a little announcement. I now have forums. So, um, if you go to www.ttg4.paintbrushguy.xyz forward slash forums then you'll end up at the forums um, I'll put a link in the card now as well so um, yeah click there, go check it out uh, you do need an account 
But, you know, you need an account for everything now. So, um, yeah, bye.